Hello. We're doing a job on Jeff Zephyr. It is, it's a master cylinder adapter. So what I thought I'd do is just draw out, just to give an idea of what we're going to do. Because Jeff hasn't seen this yet. <laughs> but it's something for us to discuss and then... The existing master cylinder, as it bolts to the car, here it is. It bolts on with these two vertical and that one to the side, like that. So it's three holes and they're equidistant on a two and a quarter inch bolt circle. And then there's a hole in the middle. So you've got this. On the bulkhead of the car, you've got this sort of thing. You've got a circle like that, a bit bigger than that maybe. And you've got a hole there, and a hole there, and a hole there. So that's what you've got. Now, the, the master cylinder that we're going to use has two bolts like this. So our first thoughts were to make a plate that kind of goes like this. These would be counterboard and fitted with Allen bolts so that they're under the surface. These would be threaded my technical drawing it where, it where it used to be when I was at school and then counterboard from the back and an allen bolt screwed in from the back so it sticks out like a stud so that would bolt to the existing firewall and then the new master cylinder will bolt to that and this this plate needs to be thick enough to take a fully, you know, an Allen bolt, fully, the full head of an Allen bolt like that. And the full head of an Allen bolt screwed through that way, sticking out that way. One's going in that way to hold it on and one's sticking out that way to, to uh, hold the master cylinder. So Jeff's got some alloy plate that's half an inch or 12 mil, which should be plenty. A possible alternative, I did some research and um, the Hillman Imp uses these cylinders that we're going to use and it mounts them over, they mount them over at 45 degrees like that to keep the height down here because they wanted to save height there. So the, all the pipes come low instead of sticking straight up. But what occurred to me was, here's the um, setup on the, on the firewall, like that. Right. What occurred to me was, why don't we use this bolt as is, and then just put another bolt opposite I'm a bit out on my drawing there, aren't I? But you get the idea. And that would actually be a... That would be a 30 degree tilt. The Hillman Imp appears to use a 45 degree tilt. That appears to be 45. So if they can tilt it 45, we can tilt it 30. And that would help from the point of view of... Um, the manufacture of the plate would be simpler and the one bolt is being utilised, you know, as designed. It would look better than that because it would be more symmetrical than that. Let me see if I can draw it again a bit better. So you've got one over here, one up there and one down here. Then the, the new master cylinder would sit there, so that one would be directly opposite, like that. 
In reality, the way this was, these holes would be relatively close together. These would keep the holes as far apart as possible and utilise this one. So this is what I'm going to sort of suggest to Jeff and see if he likes the idea. If not, this was the idea that we'd sort of already discussed. So, you know, either that or that, one way or the other, we'll get the job done. Um, I'll show you the bulkhead on the car. Now here's the, here's the difficulty of the matter that you've got this brace running here. That is the existing clutch cylinder which may or may not get replaced during this conversion. We're thinking we're going to try and retain the existing reservoir. Although it isn't ideal, it is already existing and fits the car and is a, a sort of low rise design. You know, it's, it just fits nicely. So down there, I have temporarily temporarily fitted a master cylinder onto the lower bolt hole like I tried to show in my diagram tilted over at uh, 30 degrees if I hello Jeff I'm just doing a little bit showing this cylinder so that's in there in the sort of attitude that um, one you know the proposal really so if you can imagine that with a plate it'll uh, you know so it can all bolt up nicely um, well, you know, I think we'll be good to go. Okay, right, Jeff's in there, so I'll have a chat with him and then uh, we'll start cutting some metal. Have a look at this, Jeff. Oh, right here, that'll do this, wouldn't it? Yeah, tight with the old pipe work still, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it, it's less tight than vertical. it would be with it vertical. Yeah. And, and you can imagine. Have the other one tilted the other way. Have the other one tilted the other way. Yeah. And, uh, well, you could tilt them both the one way, but I think this one tilted this way and the other one tilted that way. This yeah. one tilted this way and the other one tilted that way would be... Looks more professional. Better. Uh, I, I, I'll just show you a little diagram. So that's the original idea, like that. Yeah. With the three holes and then three bolts sticking through. Yes. Um, your plate... There. Oh yeah, that's decent stuff, isn't it? I think I think it's just a slightly little bit wider than mine, isn't it? So yeah, that's good stuff. Um, it's 12.5 mil, that. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So, but it's probably thick enough to just tap. And bolt them in. Yeah, yeah. instead of putting a bolt through from the back, just yeah, tap yeah. it. And then we can either use a stud. Yeah, because you'll have more than a diameter's... Yeah. Thread thickness, if yeah. you know what I mean. So we could just use a stud. Well, th th here's the one design that we were talking about yesterday. So you'd have two tapped holes yeah. and two studs, and then three counterboard holes yeah. and um, if we use Allen it, bolts. Yeah. Or we go for that. If we go for this one, that one's just drilled straight through, bolted through into the and bolted existing through. Bolt but we might need a longer bolt than you've kited for, but. We can probably make something up and then order something. I've ordered you know. some inch and a quarter one, so. Yeah. So, and then just one tapped hole there. Yeah, and then all the two bolts and then back in. Two bolts there. But it, it might be that they could be normal bolts. Yeah. I, I just don't know to be Well, I've ordered but enough. Bear in mind, you've got. Sort of Allen bolts anyway. Yeah, so. you've got the flange there. But they might not even need to be counterboard. No. If they, if they clear the flange. Or oh, the flange could have a couple of little notches filed in, Jeff. Yeah, we said that, didn't we? So a couple of little notches might be in the flange. Well, that's it for the design stage. I'll have a chat with Jeff and we'll decide which, which one we're going to lump for. I think we're going for the canted design. There's your diagram. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that 37, 57, 57 is um, two and a quarter inches. That's what it's actually specified as because it's a... It's an old imperial design. Great, good. Just in case anybody's wondering, this is Jeff's blue zephyr, not the cream one that we were working on recently. This is the blue zephyr, and he's had some problems with the brakes. And we've 
replaced the wheel cylinders, well, replaced the seals on this side, but um, we just couldn't bleed it, so we're doing this master cylinder mod now. Okay, righto, back in a bit. We've, um, we've prepared the first attempt at a plate, and I was just going to start cutting a hole through the middle of it. So I said to Jeff, let's get the camera fired up so we've got some footage. So Jeff's going to hold the camera. We didn't film our cock up on the measuring front to start with. No, <laughs> no, we, we've had to have two or three iterations at this. Hence, hence the multitude of This top. is running out a bit, this thing. But I'll show you a trick in a minute. It's a bit fast, this one. I was going to show you drilling a hole next to it for the chips to go, but it's cutting over size a bit. So the chips are all coming out anyway. Okay, well that wasn't exactly uh, brilliant was it? That won't make the final cut. It'll do though won't it? There's a hole. And what you can see here, this is the correct way up. Those are the two vertical bolts. That's the third bolt of the existing yep. mounting setup. And we're going to use this bolt and that bolt for the new master cylinder. What I can imagine, Jeff, is like uh, cutting this off like that. Yes. And cutting it down there at yep. the tangent to those two. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, and round you know round the corner. So. So let's get the tapping drill sizes then. Well, actually, there's there's only going to be that, one that needs that's tapping. Only that one needs tapping, but we'll decide what thread to use. Okay. Back in a bit then. Okay. This is where we find out we've got a perfect mirror image of what we really wanted. Don't matter, use it on the <laughs> clutch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeff's just offering it up to see what we, how we're looking. Don't yeah, it looks too all right, bad, it looks alright, yeah, it looks okay. Take it away so we can see the bolt holes in the bulkhead. That's it, yeah. So, yeah, and oh, uh, that's where it's marked up there, that hole there yeah. is going to be that hole there. Yeah. So, yeah, good. Good, yeah, okay. Okay, we've had a complete um, change of plan. Because I got the rotary table set up on the milling machine, we just said, well, why don't we just use it? So we've drilled the big hole. We've centered the hole up on the rotary table. We've centered everything up with the head. And the, the table was at a different height, but we used this square against the table when it could go back against the table to uh, set this face square to the machine so we've wound it so it is central and we need to go across inch. one inch plus an eighth this one here is a quarter of an inch per turn do you want me to film or you and the last movement was towards me so the play is taken out because that's important to make sure that you take the play out. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four turns and then 125 thou. But I'm counting backwards there, so but it'll still be 125. It's from, half a turn, isn't it? Yeah. There's 130. There's 125. Have a look at it. Except I've gone too far. There isn't a mark at the five. So there's 125 there 
I'm just going to lock it. Which way? No, not that one. No, this one. This one. That's it. So that's locked on the PCD now. Uh, yeah. I like the hand start. Yeah. <laughs> the hand well, crank to... Well it's good because you can start it in reverse. So there's our first mark, Jeff. Yep. So now we want to go 120 degrees, don't we? Yep. Okay. That's at zero. So we've got to go. It's 90 to 1. 120 degrees is a third of one rev on here. So we've got to go. One rev on there is 90 here, so we've got to go 30 clicks. On the counter there. One, two, three. So that's 30, and then I've got a virtually a whole rev to come round to zero. Okay, so that's zero there, and I'll put the lock on. So that's 120 round, look, Jeff. Yep. So we've, we've done the first one at 120, we've got to go another 120, which is another 30, so that's 60 on the counter. There we go. And now we need one extra hole. Just there. Yeah. Which is, which is 15 clicks. 60 degrees, so it's 15 clicks. So we need to go to 75 on here. Tell you what, Jeff, having this clicker really takes the guesswork out of it. I'm a crap filmer. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've got the camera pointing miles away from the dial then. Sanity check. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. So these are our four positions. Mm -hmm. So these are our four positions. I won't drill them here because I'll be drilling into my rotary table. But we can t now take this to the drilling machine, drill three clearance holes and drill one tapping hole there. I think I can pilot all of these because that's smaller than a 5 UNF thread. Now I must only drill the three holes with this, not, not all four. The three holes of the old cylinder. Just get you going. Right, there's three holes. I'll go. I'll go and I'll go and look up the um, size for a five sixteenths UNF thread. UNF fine series threads. Fine series. There's all the numbers there, but the tapping drills are here. Five sixteenths is a six point nine zero drill or a six point eight as an alternative. Just making sure I can reach. Right, that hole there. Uh, 
looks nice. Okay, good. Stringy oil. Okay, ready? See that? It lifted it up. Okay, hey, we got away with that. I can't reverse this drilling machine. That was lucky. I think what happened was it, it bottomed out in the wood. That was lucky, wasn't it? That it just lifted up. If it had tilted, it could have brought the tap. Okay, good. I want to go and see if this will line up with the holes and bolt on. I can do that with the existing bolts, can't I? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Really, we ought to get all these pipes out of the way because we're going to change them anyway. It might be easier with the other uh, stud in place. But anyway, there you are. There's the, there's the cylinder mounted. Let's just... Uh, Take the camera off the mount and get a bit of a broader shot. This is like a dummy cylinder, this is a racing cylinder, it's not the one we're going to use. There's the AP racing cylinder. Down there, down that gap. It's virtually impossible to show. But there's the block. So what you can see from that is it's, it'll be possible now to draw around the pieces and um, trim the block and kind of fine tune it a bit and make it a bit nicer. I think when we come to do the job for properly, we'll uh, take all the pipe work off and then put all the pipe work in place once the cylinders are on. I'm a little bit concerned that that hole might be a bit big, the hole in the middle, but we've established like the principle of what we want to try and achieve. You get the idea there, look. Yeah, it needs to tilt to the left a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, cool man. Okay. Righto, that'll do enough, that'll be enough for today, so I'll bring you back when there's more to show. Cutting four pieces to make four new plates. I took the first one as a proof of concept. Very satisfying. When we when we took the master cylinder off, in the end of the master cylinder was the brake switch. And on this car, down right down there where that light is on the frame rail, I don't know if you can see it, but there are the ends of brake pipes, and those brake pipes went into this union, which is a four-way. But I had to dig through my stash, and in my stash I had a similar union that is a four-way plus a brake switch tapping so we're fitting the brake switch to the union and this union is exactly the same except it has the extra tapping on the top there so Jeff's down underneath the car it will be it will be and uh, he's offering this up and we've got to space it out a little bit because of the um, flange on the chassis. Just, just to give you one of the little details of another one of the jobs that we've had to do. Jeff has taken off the master cylinder for the clutch and um, the reservoir and the, the feed pipe work. And I have made four 
adapter plates sort of roughed out I'll show you those in a sec um, because we're catering for this car and the cream coloured car here are the plates and they are the same as the prototype except I've added extra material here and we haven't drilled the hole because we want to drill the hole as small as we can yet still being big enough because if you offer this cylinder it, it doesn't even cover the hole look which would lead to you know engine noises and fumes coming from the engine bay so we're going to make the hole smaller than this but big enough to well I think the flanges might be bigger on the other cylinders on the new cylinders this is a lightweight racing cylinder so it's pruned down to the minimum so there's our prototype plate which bolts in place here are our productionized plates and what you can see is that there's more material between these holes rather these holes have more material to the wall there so okay back in a bit we just noticed that the master cylinders have got this parting line there so we're going to just put them on here and uh, give them a little skim just for the sake of tidiness and you know having a nice seat for it to for the washers to go down onto should be plenty I think that'll do looks all right there was like a parting line so we thought we'd take it off oh I've made another cut yep good okay that'll do so that looks all right what we're um what we're looking at is using conventional bolts do you want to put a bolt in that one or that eight and a half mil drill maybe because that'll center it up really well then but well, there's no right no wonder i can't move the cylinder i've got the cylinder in the vice and all oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> duh. Duh. <laughs> well do you can leave that one in <laughs> so what we said we'd do is just drop a bolt in the other hole That's the place what you can see here is that these flanges are a little bit close to there so we thought we'd just file it a little bit but we just want to get a, a mark where we can get a radius That's it. I've got the socket on the nut so I'm just going to scribe around the socket to give me some idea of where to file the master cylinder to Can I see that line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it goes yeah. quite close in there. Yeah. Well, we could delete the washer, although hmm, I don't think it'll be all okay, won't it? Well, I don't think the, the socket's a bit bigger than the washer, isn't it? So we could use Allen bolts, but I was, I was saying to Jeff that it looks like you know it'll look better with original type. Ford type hardware as if this is something that's been knocked out by the skunk works at the back of the number two block at Dagenham I've just made that up completely there ain't a number two block I've just made that up <laughs> so you get the idea so hopefully and j just show the other side of the block Jeff Jeff took this home and he's cut all this to a nice shape filed it all up really nice and um, it isn't fitted at the moment but 
sorry, we used a better hole saw and this now is a really good fit when you've got the rubber boot, when you've got the rubber boot in place there. Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're quite happy about the way it's all coming together now. Oh, fall off the step. Okay, back in a bit. I just, uh, we were just started putting this together. I said to Jeff, hang on, let's just, just show the pieces. So this is the new cylinder. This is the brake master cylinder. And if you hold it end on, you can see where we've filed there, where Jeff's filed there. <laughs> it's just fucking can't stop tidying <laughs> you up. Can see no, no, I've <laughs> just, I've just got to put a little bit of oh yeah, go on then. lubrication around there to uh, when it'll act as a seal and stop any corrosion as well. Yeah. yeah. And it and here is like a secondary seal that they used on the original well right okay then so so this, this is goes, the adapter plate finished so this goes like that on the car yeah and then this is going to be bolted up like that yep so to get all the holes lined up we're going to drop an eight and a half mil drill through those two yep that mean that, that ensures that we can get a bolt into the bulkhead and then we're just going to bolt the two together not murdering them together with that the bolt, bolt that you had <laughs> here it is with this okay. bolt with the new spring washer on mm. which will just go in there with a little bit of rattling a new one and a half inch spanner there don't you yeah, I'll put them all back in the drawer yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff's, a, Jeff's a, a tidy upper Tidy upper, there's a half inch. Gordon, England. No, it is. <laughs> Gordon Bennett. It feels a bit tight. Oh, that's it. It ain't got any cocked, has it? No, it's pulled down dead square. Look. Mm. I think what it what it's done is. It's very like squash the rubber over one side, look, see. Mm. So that's okay. Now that secondary seal. I think that secondary seal might be a bit not needed top. now. Do you think it needs cutting down to a bit slimmer? Well, well, we'll, we'll it put it on because it, it depends how big the hole in the bulkhead is. It, it, we'll put it on because it'll um, help seal the hole in the bulkhead, won't it? Yeah, so there's that. Okay. Okay, okay. Just to explain as well, we we had to spend quite a long time setting up the distance between this face and this eyelet, and the the distance from there to there, measured straight, is three and three sixteenths or eighty one millimeters. What we found was that the original push rod with this cylinder worked it just worked almost in its original position you want that just engaged just a little bit jeff while you tighten the bolts and then because uh, you, you don't really want to be tightening that after you've put it on the car so i need to what you're saying is nip the bolt up nip the bolt up and knock the drill out right. thank you though, okay nice bit of rag there <laughs> some old manky thing Oh, try again, Jim. Just hate it when that happens. Yeah. You have to watch that vice. It sometimes it don't bite on the nut. It's tight enough. Go, go with the ring spanner on the. Give it a, another white knuckle. That's it. You just hold the uh, correct use of No, tool. no. That's the bolt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it looks threaded, that does. Yeah. There you go. Correct use of tools, we're in the wrong hole. You'd have a job knocking that one out. <laughs> I'll give it a good go, though. Yeah. <laughs> We'd end up having to drill it out. There we go, then. So that now can be offered up. Yeah. Do you and want to do that? It can be bolted up, yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Da, da, da. Oh, that's that's da, just da. nice through that bulkhead there, Marks, actually. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Like that. Like that. So, yeah. that's the one that holds them both together, isn't it? Yeah. Can't quite see that from here. Oh, that's it. I've got the that's gone in. View. Yeah, oh, that's that good. one's gone in. Where's another bolt in? What do I do with this? I've got this. This is the bloody magnet. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, let's. Uh, Which way are you going? So, there? I'm just going to try this one. Yeah. It's easier, Jeff, with it without the uh, pipes in the way. That's it. I'll concentrate on the camera. <laughs> Yeah, it's gone in, so yeah, it's, uh, yeah. let's just get this on there. It's still awkward, isn't it, because the brake pipe's still there. Have you got the, just, th the just, other one in? Yeah, I've got the two in. I ain't got the third one well, in. Well, don't tighten them up until you've got the third one. one. I, ain't, I'm, I ain't tightening them, I'm just sort of... Right, okay. Yeah. So we'll pinch a clutch one while we look for the... Yeah. So there's two over here for the clutch. Okay. So there's a, one missing for the clutch. Right, spring washer, I had it. Where to put it? There's, some, there's the spring washers, yeah. Where does this one go now? Um, top right. Oh, I can just there's see. a wire right by That's, it, Jeff. Yeah, it's the brake um, switch yeah. wire. Yeah. So you might want to flick that over to this side of the cylinder, get it out of the way, let's see. Really is kind of non... It's gone straight in. Non-ergonomic in it, this uh, setup. I think it looks better with hex bolts, Jeff. It looks like, like I said earlier, some... some you think they're long enough, yeah? They ain't gone in all that many turns. No, Jeff, I, I, I think... We need some longer ones. Yeah, I think okay. it'd be worth ordering some a quarter inch longer than them. Okay, no problem at all, I'll get on to that. But uh, that, that has proven that it all fits. Yeah. All your machining is spot on. The nice hole saw is perfect. Yeah, that, that, that's a good hole saw though. Jeff bought his hole saw around and it worked really well. It's more like a rotor brooch sort of thing. And there you can see that the socket clearance that we've given them has worked, hasn't it? Yeah, that um, yeah, that little bit of filing. And I, I think that looks good, Jeff. I think it looks really professional. It does. Get that wire out. I just way. think when we put the reservoir back on the pipes, you won't be able to see them anyway. No. <laughs> Where's that wire? Yeah. I'm trying to just improve the view on the camera. Well, we're going to cut the ends off that wire anyway, and, and extend them down. Yeah. Extend them down. So. Yeah. Okay. I think that looks really good, Jeff. Uh, it does. It looks superb. Yeah. Just going to do the same now. I mean, there's nothing to do. It's only a case of assembling up the parts that we've already got in it for the clutch. For the other side, yeah, because it'll be the yeah. same. Yeah. Just made a little spacer for that. The five way down there needs to be spaced off. So that will just go on like this. Jeff made that spacer there for the for the five way. Painted it. <laughs> Tell you what, Jeff, bollock some grease on that. Well, yeah, I was going to um, put a spring washer under it yeah. as well. Yeah. There's copper grease on the right hand end with a brush. Oh, that, that there? Yeah. That might be better. I'm filming all this. You don't need to see us putting grease on a bolt, do you? Okay. We'll bring it back when we're at the next stage. That looks good, Jeff. I can see it better from here now. Yeah, yeah, that looks really good. Okay, right. Uh, okay, I'll bring it back when there's more to show. 